Aliado. Hi, I've just got time before lunch to show you what the Bundertop XXL tent looks like on a Defender. Before we ordered ours, we had real trouble finding any images or videos of the XXL, especially on a Defender. This XXL variant is also known as the Bunda King in certain territories. This is a 1.6 meter wide version of the standard Bunda Top. The standard one is 1.35 meters, I think. The mattress in the standard Bunda Top is 1.25 meters, and in this XXL, the mattress is 1.5 meters wide. Okay, I think our rolls are ready in the Dutch oven, so I'm just gonna get those out and we can have our lunch. standard version but I'm sad enough to have built a mock-up of the space at home so we could try it out and for us it was just a bit too small so thanks to Tough Trek who supplied it we were able to swap to the XXL without any fuss. As you can see this tent is mounted on a set of two leaf square steel bars in our opinion it actually looks okay even though it hangs over the edge of the bars by about 40 mil on the left and the right I should point out that the structural element around the perimeter of the tent floor does get supported by these bars, so hopefully all is good. If you've got a front runner rack, then this tent will possibly overhang on each side by maybe 100 millimeters. So that could mean the structural perimeter on the base might not be directly supported. And I also think it looks a bit clunky with that much of an overhang. As I mentioned, this tent came from Tough Trek in England. They also fitted it for us. Our experience using them was great. Lucy and Dara are helpful, knowledgeable, just nice people to deal with. We have no connection to them, but credit where credit is due. Well done, Tough Trek. Now this is not a review of any other aspect of these tents. There's plenty of that stuff out there already on the internet. But I would like to add that this tent now has a switch inside that cuts the power so that you can flip the switch when you're up in the tent and it isn't possible for some smart ass to collapse the tent down on you during the night. I don't think previous versions of this tent had this feature. So thanks for watching. I hope this might have been helpful for anyone thinking about getting a rooftop tent on their Defender. Until next time.